So in the past, um, sellers would have things pop up on their account health scorecard. That's that area, the middle of the account health screen where it has suspected IP, reported IP, uh, inauthentic, all of the various defects that you can have from Amazon. And so those would, those would be there. People would see the number, but a lot of times they would just ignore them. They wouldn't really focus on them or address them. So where I think that this account health rating does help, a lot of Amazon sellers, they are very focused on data and numbers. It assigns a number to you and what your score is, as well as that green, yellow, red bar that's been there a long time, but now there's a number with it. And it shows you, hey, this is having a negative impact on your account. Too many sellers ignore, um, especially ASIN violations. They think if they just delete the ASIN and stop selling it, all of a sudden they're cool. Well, it doesn't really work that way. Amazon looks at your data for the past 180 days. So any defect from the past 180 days is negatively impacting your account and that can build up over time. So in the past, you had no idea how Amazon was viewing this. You still really don't. Amazon is opaque. They're like a black box. They're not gonna tell you the formulas they use to calculate the numbers but you will be able to see that number fluctuate, which means you can say to yourself, oh yeah, I should probably appeal those ASIN violations instead of just letting them sit there. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to SellerApp's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.